Hey everyone, it's Grace here. Welcome to this active flow with a focus on spinal lengthening and really getting the body moving. Great practice for the start of the day or maybe the end of the day, depending on how things went. Let's get started. For this practice, we'll begin in child's pose and I invite you to grab a bolster or maybe two blocks so that we can place our hands on them. When we use the bolster in this way, it gives us a little bit lo more leverage to start opening up the shoulders and the arms. Take a few deep breaths in and out. And feel the upper body drop into the tops of the legs. You should be able to feel yourself breathing here. If it's not comfortable for you to put the hands on the bolster, no need to use it, just slide it off the mat in traditional child's pose with the hands flat on the floor. Start establishing for yourself a breath in and out of the nose. And perhaps you commit to breathing just a little more deeply throughout the course of this practice. Inhale fully. Let it all out. Lift yourself up. Slide the bolster towards you just a little bit and place the elbows on it instead. Fingertips together behind the head, or if you can, palms touch behind the head. Inch yourself back just a little bit and think about pressing the backs of the arms, the triceps, all the way down to the ground. Now they're not going to reach the ground, that's just the way we're moving. Breathe deeply, press the hands into each other and feel space being made in the upper back. Just a few gentle starting positions to get our body moving and to get ourselves noticing the breath. Inhale. Exhale it all out. Remove the hands from behind the head. Lift yourself up. Let's slide the bolster off of the mat. And from child's pose, we'll transition into puppy pose. So hands are at the top of the mat. Similar to child's pose, we'll press the hips back, but keep them lifted above the heels as if you were bowing down to the floor. If the shoulders are more open, I'm sorry, if the shoulders are more tight, it might be harder to get the forehead onto the floor. With each exhale, feel yourself ease towards the ground just a little bit more. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Similar to what we did on the bolster, now hands come together behind the head. Hips continue to press back and we think about lowering the backs of the arms, the triceps down to the floor. Deep breathing. Inhale, exhale, remove the hands from behind the head and let the hips drop back to the heels. Hands plant firmly on the ground with the fingers spread wide. Take a breath in, lift the hips and then drop them. Elbows bend facing the back of the mat, lift the heart, rise up out of the shoulders and come into Cobra. At the peak of the breath, our heart is lifted in cobra. Exhale, keep the hands just where they are and take the hips back. Some breath and movement here. Inhale, rise up, drop the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it back. Make sure we're not locking out the elbows when we come forward, slight bend. And feel free to add in any other movements. Maybe it feels good to round the back a little bit more and take the head back. 
Maybe your movements are a little bit smaller today. This time around, let's pause in the back bend. Keep yourself lifted. And then look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to center, lift. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. One more time each side. Inhale, exhale over the right. Inhale to center, exhale over the left. Inhale to center, exhale, hips back, tuck the toes, press it back, downward dog. And let's pedal the feet, switch from one foot to the other. Open up the backs of the legs, the calves and the hamstrings. Maybe it feels good for you to be in stillness instead. Check in, see what the body needs. Come back to stillness. Look forward to the top of the mat Jump, step, or walk your feet into your hands, hands into your feet, fold forward. From here, you can give the wrists a little circle. Maybe they feel tight after that last sequence we did. And then let your hands land somewhere, whether that's above the knees, below the knees, to the ankles, or to the floor for support, just so that we can relax the head and shoulders fully Give your head a little nod, yes. Give the head a shake, no. Then let the head return to stillness. Bend the knees, tuck the chin to the chest, breathe in, slowly roll the spine up. And let's take it back into some shoulder circles going back. Inhale them up, exhale back. You can do these with bent elbows as I'm doing them, or maybe you have smaller movements. I like the big movements though. Let's turn this into alternating arm circles going back. Maybe pick up the pace just a little bit. And then turn it into arm circles back at the same time. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, maybe bent elbows there. Take a deep breath in, lean back, send the arms out to the sides, palms up, gaze up. Exhale like you're diving in a pool, chin to chest, round the back, hands come forward, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, rise up, lean back. Exhale like you're diving. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive. And then let's drop the hands to the legs and roll the spine up once again, back to standing. If you scooted back at all, take a step forward to the top of the mat, shift onto your right foot, inhale the hands up, let the left knee float, find your balance, pause here, breath continues to move in and out of the body. Next breath in, lift the left knee just a little bit more, Bend into the right leg, take a big step back and find your crescent warrior or your warrior one, right foot forward. So I have my left heel lifted in crescent warrior. You might choose traditional warrior one with the left foot flat on the floor, just however you feel more stable. Hands reach up, hook the thumbs, spread the fingers wide, breathe and lift the heart, lean back. Exhale, fold it all the way down to low lunge, down to the ground, release the hands. Plant the left hand under the left shoulder, 
Take a breath in, open up to the right side with the right arm. Exhale, back down to our runner's lunge. Shift onto the right foot and step the left foot up to meet the right, fold forward. Tuck the chin to the chest, breathe in, roll the spine up, reach the arms up. We're on our left foot this time, right knee floats, pause here. Breath continues to flow. Inhale, lift the right knee a little more. Exhale, bend into the left leg, take a step back, find your crescent warrior or warrior one, left foot forward. Hook the thumbs overhead once again, and you'll notice there's a way that you naturally go, but since we did that the last time around, let's switch our thumbs, get opposite grip. Inhale, lift the heart, lean back. Exhale, roll it all the way down. Right hand plants under the right shoulder, and if you need blocks for this practice, feel free to grab them. One breath in to open up to the left side. Exhale, back down to the ground. We're on our left foot, spring up from the right toes, step forward, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, roll the spine up, hands reach up. We're back to our right foot, left knee lifts. Pause here. Find your balance. Inhale, lift the left knee a little bit more. Exhale, big step back, crescent warrior or warrior one. Hook the thumbs, breathe in, lift the heart. Exhale, straighten the spine, release the hands, lower the left foot and arrive in warrior two. Center your right leg, strong but at ease, hands reach forward and back. Next breath in, shift forward, flip just the right hand, exhale, reverse the warrior, drop the left hand to the left leg, right hand reaches overhead, stay in your lunge, maybe the left hand wraps around the low back. Take a breath in, rise back up, warrior two. Exhale, square the shoulders and the hips, take it all the way down, runner's lunge. Shift onto the right foot, step up with the left. Tuck the chin to the chest, inhale, spine rolls up, hands reach up. Back to where we started on the left foot, right knee lifts, pause. Find your balance. Next breath in, right knee lifts a little more. Exhale, step it back. Hook the thumbs, but reverse this time. Inhale, lift the heart, lean back. Exhale, straighten the spine, open up, warrior two. Center your left foot and check in. Left foot is bisecting the right foot. Right toes face the long side of the mat. Breathe in, shift forward, flip the left hand. Exhale, reverse the warrior. Stay in your lunge, keep breathing, core keeps us lifted. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, pinwheel it all the way down, back down to the floor. Strong on our left foot, step up with the right. Tuck the chin to the chest, inhale, roll it all the way up. Touch the palms, lift the heart. Exhale, fold it down to the ground. Bend the knees, plant one hand on either side of the mat. Let's step it back to a plank. You can always drop it down to the knees if needed. We'll take it all the way down to the floor. Breathe in, push the earth away. Exhale with control. Elbows bend facing the back of the mat. Lower yourself down to the floor. Stack the forearms. Forehead on top of the forearms. Bend the legs. Take a couple windshield wipers. Feet to the left, feet to the right. After a few of those, just to loosen up the lower back, let's take the feet back onto the floor. Hands adjust out to the sides of the mat, up on our fingertips. Elbows are bent. Face forward, breathe in, tuck the chin to the chest, roll the spine up. Exhale, lead with the nose, fold forward, bend into the elbows. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, down. 
Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, fold it down. One more time, inhale up. Exhale down. Hands adjust under the shoulders, elbows in. Breathe in, lift it to your cobra. Exhale back, child's pose. Take a moment and notice Tuck the chin to the chest, breathe in, roll the spine up, and let's adjust the knees out to the sides, a little bit of a wider stance. From here, hands reach forward once again, and back to where we started at the beginning of our active flow, where we inhale, lift the hips, exhale, take it back to our widening child's pose. Inhale, lift the hips, but this time we also lift the feet at the peak of the breath. Exhale, take it back. If this variation doesn't feel comfortable for you as we find some breath and movement here, then just come back to the first movement we did at the beginning of class with the knees together moving in and out of our traditional cobra. You might find that you could take the feet all the way to the head. I'm not quite there yet, but working on it. A few more times here. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Pause. Coming back to our wide knee child's pose, take a deep breath in, tuck the chin to the chest, and we'll rise up, wide knee kneeling position. From here, we'll take our left hand behind us. Fingers are facing the back of the mat. A slight bend in the left elbow to protect the arm. Take a deep breath in. Sweep the right hand in front of the face. As you do this, lift the hips, shift onto the left hand. Heart faces the sky, right hand faces the back of the mat. On the exhale, the right hand sweeps back down in front of the face as the hips lower. Inhale, right arm sweeps up, lift it up. And exhale, take it back down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, back down. One more time, inhale. And exhale. How does that feel? Wonderful heart and hip opener. Let's take it to the other side. Right hand lands, fingers face the back of the mat. Remember, we're doing a sweeping mo um, movement with the left arm in front of the face. Breathe in, shift onto the right hand, lift the hips, send the left hand behind, and exhale back down. Inhale, lift, and exhale back down. Two more times, inhale, lift it up, exhale back down. Last time, inhale, lift, and exhale it down. Awesome. From here, we'll bump one hip to the floor, let the legs swing around. We'll land with the feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Take your hands behind you for support and a couple of windshield wiper legs. Knees to the left, knees to the right. And we'll end our practice with just one forward fold from the seated position. Let's take the legs out wide, toes face up. Choose your angle with the legs depending on how the hips are feeling. Inhale it up and exhale, fold forward. Let the hands make their way to the mat in front of you or land on the legs somewhere. Toes continue to face the sky. Let's tuck the chin to the chest, breathe in, roll it back up. Thank you so much for joining me for that active flow. From here, perhaps you take a little relaxation, maybe you come to a seated meditation, or maybe you're ready to go about your day. Wherever you may be, I wish you well, and I hope you wish yourself well too. Thanks for joining me. My name's Grace.